She just won herself Director's Choice Award in the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Show her some love, it's Melanie Bracewell! Hello, hello. Shuckers. <laughs> Trying to see if you guys are a shucker crowd. No, um... Who's drinking? Make some noise. Love it, yeah, I've just got some bubbles backstage. I hate it when people are real wanky about drinking, you know? There's people that are like, oh, you can only call it champagne if it's from the champagne region of France, and that's just a goon sack you've put through a soda stream, Melanie. <laughs> I'm like, it tastes good. <laughs> But I, I think I'm cursed because like every party I go to, I end up trapped in a conversation with someone who likes to talk about the same topic for hours, right? And I've had to work out a way to get out of these conversations when I'm drinking, right? And I figured it out. If you're ever in a conversation with someone and they're quite boring, what you do is you just um, close their eyes like a corpse. and then walk away. <laughs> Just a simple rest in peace. I promise you they will not try to talk to you again. <laughs> no, but I, I did some organising for some parties. My sister was getting married, so I had to organise her hen's party. It was great. One thing, I couldn't find um, penis straws anywhere. Right? Ladies, you know this classic thing at a hen's party, you get little straws, they've got little penises on them, and you, you drink out of them, and you go, oh, <laughs> drinking out of a little penis, you know. <laughs> Bit of fun. Uh, I don't know what guys do at Bucks do, so I guess you guys just I don't know, do shots out of moon cups or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, right? But the thing is, I've like thought about it more. I'm like, of course they're harder to find because they're quite bad for the environment. Like, it's one thing to kill a turtle with a regular single-use <laughs> plastic straw. With a penis straw, you're really rubbing it in, you know. <laughs> and you can't get paper penis straws because then they go soft in your mouth. <laughs> you feel like you've done something wrong. We were talking about kids earlier. Who has kids? Make some noise. Yeah, you, you raised your bottle slightly, but then didn't woo. You? Okay. What, what kind are they? <laughs> One girl? Oh, very cute. I asked that of a crowd member recently. I was like, tell me about your kids. He was like, I've got three kids, one of each. I was like, <laughs> I was like what does that mean? He was like, what a boy, a girl, and a gay boy. I was like... I don't think that's all the categories. <laughs> it's very cute, young, young daughter. Right? I don't have any kids, I've got a couple of nieces and nephews, right? But my niece just turned six years old and she's become a bit of a narc. Like a massive narc. Like she's always telling on her friends that she goes to school where the thing she hates the most is when they swear. Right? She'll come up to me and we're hanging out and she'll be like, Auntie Mel, someone at school said the C word. And I'm like, Jesus. But also, I think kid swearing is quite funny. So I'm like, what's the C word? She says, crap. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> it's cunt, you idiot. No, uh, <laughs> then like a whole week passed, right? She comes up to me again, we're hanging out. She goes, Auntie Mel, someone at school said the G word. And I'm like, genuinely, what is the G word? She leans in real close, just whispers in my ear. She's like, fuck. <laughs> Not the smartest girl in the world. <laughs> I was like, it's cunt, you idiot. No, uh, but I, I actually used to work at kids' birthday parties. Um, did the same set, actually. But... Um, <laughs> The thing that would always frustrate me about them is the way that they'd introduce themselves to people, you know? I'd be like dressed up as Elsa at these little kids' parties and I'd be like, oh, hi, I'm Elsa, what's your name? They'd be like, I'm Billy, I'm six years old and I can read. 
fucked and asked for your whole life story. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. I've been Melanie Bracewell. Have a good night. Melanie Bracewell!